Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I'm gonna put stuff in my mouth. I'm gonna put it in my mouth and make me scream and shout! All right, I've got another package here from Lee Yoga. She sent a box from Nicaragua a while back. I haven't even opened this one and read the letter. I don't even know where it's from. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in that little box. <laughs> Hello, greetings from Southern Africa, sweet. I just spent the past week visiting South Africa, Johannesburg, Cape Town, Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls, and Zambia. This is, is it Zambia or Zambia? I always forget, Livingstone. You can check out my Instagram page. Oh yeah, who is Lee Yoga? I'll put a link to that. Um, see pictures of her trip. Additionally, I got you some goodies from South Africa, Biltong. I've heard of this. It's like beef jerky, South African beef jerky. Cool, beef, ostrich, and kudu? Okay, let's start with the beef one first because it also says chili. Okay, skizzers. So it's like kind of chopped up little bits. Wow, that is really good. It's just salted and dried. Like there's not any other, it says coriander. Oh yeah, got a little coriander now. It's almost got a little bit of like a fermented flavor to it, but in a really good way. That's really good. I like that. Okay, this is kudu, which judging by the package is some sort of deer or gazelle. It's darker, it's kind of surprising. Mm -mm, it's really mild. Hmm, I thought it would be like venison or something. As far as the mouth feel, it tastes a little bit oilier. And I mean, it's good. Not, I don't mean that as a gross. Ingredients, meat, and in parentheses, kudu and or elond and or impala and or Jim's buck and or wildebeest and or springbuck in variable amounts. I don't really know what I just ate. That's good. I wonder what makes, if, I don't know, I wonder if the process is different than regular old, what we call beef jerky. Anybody know? Please tell me. This is ostrich. Oh, it's in strips. I'm actually like a little bit more intimidated by this because it's like a whole huge thing. Hmm, I kind of want to say it tastes a little bit like duck, but I think that might just be my brain tricking me because I'm like, oh, they're both birds. If I were just going by the smell alone, I would say it's a little bit off-putting. But the flavor, I mean, the texture's good. It's much fatter than the other two. Maybe there's something else in it besides, oh yeah, okay, there's ostrich and beef. I'd probably use beef fat, because ostrich is supposed to be really lean, right? Mm. Anyway, that's cool. Yay, awesome. Okay, what else? Uh, this was also from South Africa, Amarula fudge. Oh, these must be the little the fudges that came in this box. Amarillo, I've heard of that. It's a liqueur. It's like some kind of fruit, I think. Okay, yeah, this is a fudge made of the Amarillo liqueur. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of like a dulce de leche. And the Amarillo is made from the Marula fruit. Butterscotch, that's what it reminds me of. It's like a butterscotch fudge. It's good. I like it. Okay, this is chomp candy. Ready? I'm gonna chomp it. That's what it says to do. Ooh, that was very satisfying. It's got little wafer layers inside like a Kit Kat, covered in caramel, I think. Yeah, could have just read the package. I don't even know why I bother. It's good, it's actually surprisingly not sweet, especially compared to the fudge I just ate, which was very sweet, but from Zimbabwe, an assortment of candy, the store I walked into did not have a lot of native Zimbabwean products. So, let's just try some of these other things. Whoa, this is called Slam, that sounds cool. Slam it. It's a chocolate nougat, kind of like the inside of a Three Musketeers bar, but more dense, and then covered in caramel. And there's some white pieces inside it that I can't tell what they are. Yeah, it's kind of like a Three Musketeers, but with caramel. I really love the package, love that font. Nice choice, Slam Company. Okay, TV bar. Maybe I should save this when I'm watching the boob tube. But I won't. I'll tell you what it is right now. Mmm. It's got Rice Krispies in it. It's again a chocolate nougat, but with Rice Krispies in it, covered in chocolate, so it's kind of like a Three Musketeers crossed with the Nestle Crunch Bar. That's a good idea. Chocolate Mint Crisp by Pascal. I've got a couple things here by the Pascal company. Some people don't like mint and chocolate together. I do, my brother doesn't. 
I only learned that a few years ago and I was stunned and I suspected for a minute maybe he wasn't even really my brother, maybe he was adopted. Ooh. Mmm, that's good. It's crunchy and green. And minty. It's like mint flavored Rice Krispies. Mmm. Refreshing chocolate with mint crystals. Sorry. Let's see. Chocolate mallow. Mmm. Chocolate mallow. You really can't go wrong. Chocolate and marshmallow. I wonder if it got flattened in the mail or if it was kind of flat already. Who knows? Let's go for the nut log. Delicious chocolate with roasted peanuts by the Pascal Company as well. Oh man, major sugar rush happening right about now. Oh yeah. Good peanut flavor. They're not very salty though. Roasted peanuts and chocolate, man. I can dig it. Last one, Wonder Bar. That's what it looks like. Whoa. There's also sort of, sort of crunchy mint crystals inside it but it's like almost more like an Altoids kind of peppermint instead of like a spearmint or something. A little weird, but I do like the name. Man, cool. Thank you so much. I hope that you had a great time. Check out her Instagram channel, Who is the Yoga? And I'm on Instagram too, FYI. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to send me some stuff, I'll put my address down below in the description box. And otherwise, I will see you next week with some more cooking videos. Adios.